This man is very unlucky. He has never successfully escaped from prison. He tries jumping, hitting walls. And hiding in car trunks. He even tries climbing power grids, but he fails. However, after his unremitting efforts, he extends his 12-month sentence to 8 years in prison. Jack starts to doubt himself, wondering if he is really cut out for escaping from prison. One day, when he decides to accept rehabilitation, Fate plays a joke on him. He accidentally digs out a spoon. Oh my god, Fate wants me to break out of jail again. So Jack decides that this is the last time. Six years later, as it's raining heavily, Jack feels that if he doesn't escape now, the tunnel will definitely collapse. So he asks his men to move the TV and cabinet away, revealing the tunnel he has been digging for six years. All the men kneel down and respectfully send off their bully. At this moment, Fugway wants to leave together. Stay where you are. So Jack leaves first. After a while, he touches back and asks if Fugway still wants to leave. Of course he does. It's not until the two men go down the tunnel that Fugway realizes something. It turns out there has been a cave in ahead. Jack asked Fugway down to help with the soil. As the two men dig, they actually break through. Then they crawl out. Fugway asks Jack, where should we go next? I don't know. Jack replies, you spent six years digging this tunnel with a spoon. Didn't you plan anything else? Yeah, I just want to break out of jail to prove myself. It turns out Jack used to be a model citizen. However, an accident changed his life. Jack got his leg broken, lost his income, and suffered from hunger. He couldn't resist and stole a loaf of bread from the roadside, which resulted in him being arrested and jailed. This makes Fu Gui angry, thinking that Jack decides to get out of jail for nothing important. Later, as the two men walk down the street, they suddenly see the police and quickly hide. There are no fake identities or clothing to cover them up. It's just a matter of time before they're found. Fugue suggests they steal clothes and disguise themselves, so they steal a taxi and begin their journey on the road. However, Jack doesn't know how to drive. He can only dig tunnels and is useless. After they drive into the city, Fugue gets Jack out of the car and blames him for being so useless. At this point, Jack has been struggling all night and is also hungry. Suddenly, he sees a van and buys two loaves of bread to eat. After eating the bread, Jack starts to cry. The feeling of eating bread without getting caught is just too good for him. At this point, Fugue comes back again. He grabs Jack and shows him the newspaper. It turns out there's an amnesty for the liberation holiday in the newspaper. They are both on the amnesty list. It's way to drama. They ran too early and became fugitives. What a mess. Meanwhile, things at the prison are getting more anxious. Tomorrow, the congressman will come for the amnesty. And what will they say if they find out these two are missing? At this point, Jack calls the prison and tells the warden they want to apply to return to the prison. But Fugue doesn't want to go back immediately because his ex-girlfriend is getting married tomorrow. He wants to attend the ceremony before returning. Jack suggests that he can return alone. The warden speechlessly asks what's the point of Jack returning by himself. The warden suggests that either both of them return together or neither of them return. Since the two can't immediately come back, the warden has a few guards change into prisoner clothes to make up the numbers. They just finish the preparations when the new warden comes for an inspection. Suddenly, the new warden finds this fake prisoners playing poker with hair gel, which does not comply with the regulations. The warden quickly orders them to shave their heads, and then as the walls were paired, he asks them to pick up flowers and plants to welcome the inspection of the congressman. Meanwhile, Fu Gui finds his ex-girlfriend, he holds a knife and threatens to reconcile. At this moment, the ex-girlfriend's fiancé arrives. Surprisingly, he is a police officer. Fu Gui is scared to death. The police officer persuades and educates him saying, he must accept his fate. So Fu Gui turns around and cries in the car. Fu Gui keeps crying no matter how Jack persuades. Later, Fu Gui is still unwilling and wants to fight for himself. So Fu Gui once again comes to the wedding dress shop. Seeing Xu Fun in a wedding dress, he kneels and begs for reconciliation. Jack doesn't hesitate and directly takes Xu Fun away. Why not just kidnap her? If she can't get married, we can return to prison. But Xu Fun surprisingly sends an SOS signal to the police while they are not paying attention. At the same time, Things also start to get busy over here. All prisoners are asked to cling, with no food provided even after a day of hard work. The prison bully cannot bear it and threatens to lead a riot. Raya, just lock them up in solitary confinement. On the other hand, Jack has a meal halfway through. He breaks down crying when he sees the spoon in his hand. Jack finally realizes that the reason he attempted to escape is all for a small spoon. At this time, the restaurant owner asks them to answer the phone. It turns out to be a prison guard calling. He says that the police have surrounded them and that they should run. Then the prison guard hits the police guard to delay their capture, which is so kind. A prison guard helps the fugitives escape. Later, 
they quickly run away from behind. And Shu Fan even gets separated from them, but they don't stop to look for her. As Jack and Fu Wei make their way back to prison, the prison is also in chaos. The prison bully threatens for food. The prison guards have no choice but to deploy the bomb disposal unit to intercept them. Later, they use a fire hose to suppress them, causing complete chaos. In the end, the captain has to fire his gun to frighten all the prisoners. What's going on? We are just doing a practical exercise. The prison bully takes advantage of the captain's inattention and knocks him down, causing the situation to completely get out of control. The prison bully then takes control and leads them to the garage, where the prison staff raise their hands in surrender. Who could have imagined that? The first thing the prison bully wants to do after taking control is to eat. He holds a food basin and eats. If you had given us a decent meal, we wouldn't have done this. The congressman is frightened and kneels in front of the prison bully, admitting to being a bad person before, who has also been to jail. He has never done anything decent. They are all in this together. The prison bully does not buy it at all. Then another congressman comes forward and testifies that it is true. We embezzled over 20 billion together. So one after another, the prison officials confess their crimes and repent to the prison bully. They admit to various offenses such as corruption, bribery, and even stealing kicks from other people. Meanwhile, with the help of the prison guards, Jack successfully returns to the small hole, but it has already collapsed, and they can no longer pass through. So the two of them think they can go back through the sewer, but they suddenly encounter a flood halfway through and are washed out. They end up back under the city wall, where they plan to dig a dog hole to crawl in, but it does not work. Then they try to use a car to ram the wall, but the wall is too sturdy, and they couldn't do it. Then, the two of them drive another big trailer and use the ramp to fly into the prison. However, after they enter, they yell that they're back, but no one responds. Later, they drive into the garage and realize the prison has been hijacked. While prison bully is close by, they push him down. On the other hand, Fu Gui tries to persuade others to stay calm. These officials are already wicked enough. We cannot become social cancers like them. The congressmen are also frightened and sad that as long as the prisoners let them go without harm, they would pretend as if nothing has happened. So the prisoners put down their guns. And then they all left. Jack and Fu Wei, who are originally granted amnesty, are released from prison without any hassle. The movie ends here. And we'll see you in the next one.